Hello, welcome, Sawari Krab. In the following presentation, I will show you why your football team needs the role of a nutritionist to help your players improve their performance and this will benefit not only the players but also the whole club. So, we start with the presentation. Here my camera will go to the screen. And we're going to start first with the table of contents. First, I will do a brief introduction about myself, then the role of nutrition in sports throughout history, the nutritionists in big teams, what they do and who are them, then the benefits for the players and for the club, and how a nutritionist can put all these things together. So, let me talk briefly about myself. My name is Juan Manuel Alcina. I'm from Cordoba, Argentina. You might hear about Argentina for sure. We're super famous for football. I'm 30 years old, but I played since I was three, four years old until I was 27. Semi-professional football in Argentina and also in New Zealand. So, football was and still is my passion. Then I moved to Spain and finally I arrived to Thailand in the year 2019. Uh, nowadays I work as a nutritionist and a presenter as can, you can see on the images. Uh, I am also a certified yoga instructor that I got the certificate in India and I'm Muay Thai teacher training here in Chiang Mai. So here you can see the pictures when I played football. Uh, I was really good. I have a lot of skills, but my problems were mainly my body. I was weak. I didn't pay attention to nutrition. I drink. Uh, so it was kind of tough for me at that time to succeed. Then uh, 10 years afterwards, I realized that nutrition and hydration is super important in high performance sports, especially in football, as I will show you in this presentation. So let me talk to you a little bit about my career. Uh, when I moved to Spain, I got a degree as a senior technician in nutrition and diet. Then I got a certificate in sports nutrition in Barcelona, in the Barcelona University for the football team. Then I also get a certificate as a life coach and here in Thailand, I used to work as a football coach in Chiang Mai. And nowadays I work as a nutritional coach for private. I work in some wellness centers, yoga studios, Muay Thai gyms, etc. So let me talk you, let me tell you a little bit about my profile. The most important thing that you should know is that my passion has always been football and health and nutrition. So hopefully I can help you with that at your team. Let's talk about nutrition in football and sports in general. So I did here a brief timeline. So in the, from the year zero until 1950, there weren't many, there wasn't many information. Only you have some facts about the Olympics. But at that time, people have no idea about the power of nutrition in their performance. At that time, there were famous football players like Pelé or Di Stefano. Maybe you have heard about them or you saw some videos. Their uh, form of play was really slow. They were super skillful, but they were, football was a different thing. It was like slow motion. Then the next step, 1950 to the two year 2000. Uh, again, nutrition wasn't so relevant. Maybe we have seen some bodybuilders like Arnold Schwarzenegger, super big and lots of muscle. But still in football, we have players like Platini, Zidane, Riquelme. Again, they weren't so physically strong. They were strong in their mind, but they were uh, slow players. Then in the next decade, football started to change. It's turned to be more physical and less technical. So. Uh, here still we have skilled players like Rivaldo, Figo and Totti, but at the same time uh, 
the game became more physical, like the Premier League, like the Italian League, were the most important leagues in the world, as well as the Spanish League. And in the last decade, and this decade that we're starting, uh, the game has changed completely, both physically and technically. So I will show you a couple of examples with some players, but you might know Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Goretzka from Bayern Munich, Traore and Lewandowski. These players, of course, they have lots of skills, but at the same time, they're physically strong. So we can see in these pictures how these players change their bodies. So we have the Portuguese Nani and Ronaldo on the left side. Then we have Goretzka from Bayern Munich. You can see his physical change in a couple of years, one, two years. In the center we have Sergio Ramos. Uh, and on the right corner we have Traoré, the uh, Spanish player that plays for Wolverhampton in the Premier League. So you see these athletes are, look more like bodybuilders rather than football players. And what I want to show you with this, the power of nutrition in the physical body, but also on the football uh, performance. So the best example of all this is Robert Lewandowski. He just won the 2020 FIFA, the best player of the year. So we can see in this picture, in the year 2006, this picture in the center, he used to play uh, in Poland and look at, at his physique. And then this picture is from the year 2020. So we can see here the comparison between both physiques. And of course, his performance was follow by this change in physique. So let me tell you a little bit about his story. Uh, but there are many players like this. So let's go Robert Lewandowski. At the age of 18, he was so thin and skinny that he was uh, removed from his hometown team. So imagine, he was super good, but his body was weak, so they dismissed him. In the year 2006, the same. That picture that I show you, he plays for Legia Warsaw in Poland. So the coach was concerned on his physical strength. He was dismissed. What happened in the year 2013? He married a nutritionist, Anna Lewandowska. You can find her, find her on social media. Well, Lewandowski always says that implementing some changes in his diet, he became a, one of the top players and an international star. According to Pep Guardiola, who was his coach at Bayern Munich, He's the most professional player he has ever met. And he quote, he says, he thinks about the right food, sleep and training 24 hours a day. That's why he's never injured. And well, he became the best player of the year last year. That's why nutrition is super important. Let me tell you a little bit about the role of nutritionists in important teams. So in Europe, in the Spanish league, 19 out of the 21st division teams have a nutritionist uh, and some of the second division too. In the Premier League, I know Liverpool uh, has a really successful nutritionist. She's a woman also in Barcelona and also in Argentina where I'm from, the national team, we have a, a recognized nutritionist. Then I will attach after this video, some videos explaining the role of this nutritionist in these teams. So here we can see some pictures, Liverpool and Barcelona we have two women. And then in Argentina, this guy helping for the uh, nutrition. So why we need a, a nutritionist in football? Well, because the football activity, soccer has lots of uh, en energetic requirements it's high intensity so we need to have endurance we need to have sprint ability high intensity efforts agility concentration and we need the ability to take quick decisions if you're seeing this video you have probably played football sometime in your life and you know how demanding and how uh, sharp you need to be with your physique to perform that's why uh, it's not easy to play in a first division team uh, here in Thailand or in the rest of the world. That's why the nutrition plays a crucial role. So how can players benefit from uh, proper nutrition? 
well, the first and most important is the performance. So the players throughout a good uh, meal plan can increase the speed, the power, the resistance, the concentration during the 90 minutes, during the trainings, if they need to play more than 90 minutes as well, nutrition is a key here. Also for the brain function. So if the brain functions better, they will take better decisions. And of course, better decisions in the long term will get better results. Also, for a better body composition. Uh, in the off season, maybe some players need to increase their muscle mass or decrease their fat mass percentage, as we've seen in the pictures before. Okay, this is completely doable with proper nutrition. This is also really important to prevent and to cure injuries. So if unfortunately some player gets injured with a proper nutrition, we can speed up the process. And of course, the better they eat, the less risk of injuries uh, will have in the players. And the last one, also extremely important, to maximize the recovery. Uh, so here is the sleep and rest. So why? Because we need to refuel the muscles after the training session and after the match days. Some people tend to think, okay, I already play a match, now I can eat whatever, I can drink uh, alcohol. No, it's the other way around. After the match and after the training is what you need to put fuel back to your body to recover. And also hydration is super important here. So I always put the example as football player body is like a Ferrari. So you need to put the proper, you cannot put any fuel in the Ferrari. You have to put a good quality fuel. So in a football player it's the same. You have to feed them with good quality food to make them perform and recover faster. So in this page, just a study that came on the year 2020. Here you can see October 2020. So it's a UEFA group statement about nutrition in elite football. So some of the nutritionists that I mentioned made this study. The nutritionists from Barcelona and many other uh, important and well-known nutritionists made this study, which uh, analyzed the, well, all these things that I mentioned you, these facts about the performance in uh, European football players. And here is a little bit of the statement that they did, giving some advice about the amount of carbohydrates before a match, during the match. Here also how to replenish the muscles, glycogen, uh, the hydration, about what to drink before the match, during the match, especially in halftime, to increase the performance, uh, what to avoid. Also, they talk about the supplements. Well, it's a really good uh, summary that just want to show you that in Europe and in the most uh, successful football teams, they're already doing this. So that's why I consider we should do it uh, as soon as possible in Thailand as well. Here are more uh, statements about this uh, this paper, this study for the European uh, from the UEFA European Association. So many things as regards nutrition and supplements. So just uh, final things: How can a nutritionist help the team? Well, the first of all, like this, doing talks and presentations and providing material. So this can be either done to the group, to the whole team, to the staff, to the coaches, or also individual talking one-on-one -on -one to the players. That that's uh, what I do with individuals in my private sessions. And what are the talks and presentations and material about? About nutritional education, trying to uh, teach the players what to eat, how to eat, when to eat, what to avoid, the recommendations, the importance of hydration, also supplements advice. There are many safe supplements nowadays that can boost performance and increase recovery. So that's also the role of a nutritionist to provide the correct supplement to uh, the players. Not all the players are the same. A goalkeeper doesn't have the same energy requirements than a right winger. So this has to be taken uh, 
in consideration. Also drinks preparation, if there's a budget to buy some whey protein shakes or some uh, recovery drinks, that's also can be done by a nutritionist. Then each player might have different goals, so that can be done either day by day or uh, weekly or monthly, depending on their objective. Also track the progress, so we can measure the body fat, the muscle mass, the water percentage, etc. That again, during the season might stay the same, but after the season is where we can play a little bit more and try to change these numbers. And accountability, having someone to rely on and follow a process together, this is really important. So what's the methodology of work that I think, but this can be discussed as well. So we will do an introductory presentation with the staff and the players to know me and I know them. And little by little, when we get to know each other, we start doing presentations. Of course, any aspect about nutrition in life and in football, how to boost the performance, as I showed you before. Also, I would like to assist to the trainings and match days to help them there, especially before, during and after these high intensity efforts. Also, then if the players require extra advice, of course, I can help them, but this would be, well, just between me and them, the club uh, wouldn't be involved. Why? Because not all the players might require uh, help. Some players might already know, might already study, which is great, but some others will need special attention. Usually younger players or, well, uh, any kind of player can need uh, this help. And then the, we will build nutrition and hydration spots before, during and after the training competition to help perform and recover better. So which are the areas of improvement that I work with my clients? Of course, as I've shown you, nutrition and diet, but also rest and recovery, how to maximize the sleep, how to sleep better, which supplements, which foods will make the players uh, sleep and recover better. Also, if they're having some stress, either uh, inside the team that I don't think so, but maybe in their everyday life. We know that if uh, someone is stressed on their everyday life, they wouldn't perform as well as they can perform without the stress. And also their social life. So all this is connected of, with the things I work uh, with my clients. So I can do this same thing with each of the players. So finally, just to end up, who can benefit of, uh, if we get results and if we accomplish our objectives? Of course, the players, because they will get better performance, better recovery. This will bring better results for the team and we will achieve more goals. And this will bring also more economic profit for the club. So everyone gets benefited of this work. It's a win-win approach. So, just to summarize, final thoughts. Well-planned nutrition strategies will help professional football players to achieve a successful athletic performance and to optimize their recovery, growth and body composition. Avoid injuries and achieve a long athletic and healthy lifestyle. And as I just told you, the club will get better results and more profits as well. So if you like this video and you want to talk in detail with me, if you have any other questions or concerns, you can contact me. Here's my email, my Thai phone number, my website, and uh, that's my logo down there of my company. So if you like this presentation, hope we can help each other and work together. Thank you so much for your time. Kop Kun Karap.